the 2020 highlights from Daily Architecture News. From the inner city abodes to breathtaking beachside beauties, here are the year's most popular residences. Occupying a cliffside plot in Brisbane, La Scala is the private residence of architects Ingrid Richards and Adrian Spence. Drawing upon four years of collected ideas, Richards and Spence desired to create a house where the outside space, including an enticing swimming pool, acted solidly as its centrepiece. Sitting camouflaged in an exposed headland location, Bangali House drinks in panoramic ocean views while sharing sight lines with the golden sands of Avalon Beach in Sydney. The clients enlisted Rob Brown and Caroline Casey of Casey Brown Architecture to realise the robust new home, with the brief to create an enduring design that feels open yet private and sheltered from the elements. Locals who wander past Cauldry House in Queensland remark that its textured brickwork is akin to sedimentary rock, tree bark or corduroy fabric, says architect Peter Besley. It's the slender off-white bricks and the way in which they were laid with lashings of matching mortar that garners so much attention from passers-by. But it's the brave use of brick in the first instance that sets this home apart from most residential architecture in subtropical Queensland. Bookended by a tree-lined street and a green belt of bushland, the unconventional Merry Creek House by Wawawa stands at attention in an inner city enclave of Melbourne. Outwardly resembling a whimsical millennial pink castle, turrets and all. Named after the nearby Merry Creek waterway, this refreshing family home is a modern interpretation of fairy tale dreams. Suited up in robust brick armour, with broad arched windows, a sweeping spiral staircase and copper livery. Heading around the globe, the year's hottest designer destinations include cutting-edge hotels in Japan and Utah. Dressed in a fusion of American meets Japanese sophistication, the much-anticipated Ace Hotel Kyoto opened its doors midway through 2020. Created by Atelier Ace in collaboration with architect Kengo Kuma and Commune Design, the 213-room hotel occupies an historic red brick building from 1926. Originally designed by Tetsuro Yoshida, one of the most important Japanese modern architects. The 10 tented pavilions at Camp Sarika by luxury hotel group Aman were designed by San Francisco and Johannesburg-based design firm Luxury Frontiers. Each featuring a stretched canvas cover cleverly made from recycled plastic bottles, the camouflage dwellings have been thoughtfully crafted to ensure a seamless connection with Utah's captivating desert landscape. Nestled in a six-storey Spanish colonial revival-style building, the Santa Monica Proper Hotel found itself to be a smash hit in 2020, winning the hearts of visitors and locals alike. The interiors of the beachside hotel were created by famed American designer Kelly Wurstler, who styled the spaces, including the 271 rooms and suites, with collected wares among a nature-inspired palette heightened by bold patterns and silhouettes. Occupying a charming old building in Paris, the new Hotel Le Degas is ready to treat visitors to a wild and wonderful joyride. The once abandoned edifice is now well dressed in the signature stylings of its art director, Luke Edward Hall, and offers a bar, restaurant, fitness room and sauna. Not to mention the 40 rooms where guests are warmly invited into the eccentric universe of the British tastemaker. The culmination of more than a decade and a half of urban renewal, the Kalal Hotel by architects Richards and Spence is an oasis in the thrumming heart of Brisbane. It's also one of the luxe destinations on the top of the must-visit list now that travel restrictions have eased across Australia. This year, emerging and established designers are responsible for some of the world's greatest watering holes. A former tea building in Sydney is home to the Four Pillars Laboratory. Designed by interiors practice YSG, it's the freshest haunt where devout gin lovers can wet their whistles in style. Quick to don the title Gin Palace, the Surrey Hills Boutique serves up a gin shop, gin lab and Eileen's Gin Bar, the sapphire coloured jewel of Crown Street. Taking its inspiration from the dream of two young entrepreneurs to open their own restaurant, La Sastreria is a wondrous establishment in Valencia, Spain. Designed by local creative consultancy and interior design firm Musk Espacio. Located in the maritime neighbourhood of Valencia, 
The bar at Masasteria features a frenzy of custom-made tiles that reinterpret the similarly energetic facades of the neighbouring buildings. Joining a lineup of more than a dozen beef bars around the world, the Paris outpost of the restaurant group was assigned to Monaco-based interior design firm Humbert and Poyer. The starting point for the designers was the main Art Nouveau room, an elegant space which was in a state of disrepair. The details of the room were the subject of painstaking restoration by talented artisans, who reinstated the former glory of the exquisite features. Claiming the title of Sydney's highest cocktail lounge, Bar 83 at the top of Sydney Tower places guests at a soaring 83 floors above ground level. Located in the heart of the city with panoramic views as its backdrop, the suave looking bolt hole was designed by local firm Loop Creative, who rolled out the red carpet for a space age scheme with a nostalgic nod to classic sci-fi film sets. Also in Sydney, the latest addition to the sizzling main strip in Redfern is Atomic Beer Project. Designed by YSG, it's an epic brew pub from the folk at Gage Roads Brewing Company. Hailing from across the Nullarbor, the makers of fine ales, lagers and ciders have set up shop in a red brick warehouse at number 158, marking the label's first combined microbrewery and tap room on the east coast of Australia. Vertical landscaping was popular in proposed developments in 2020, and a luxury hotel is set to capture attention in 2021. Melbourne-based developer Tim Gurner, founder and director of Gurner Property Group, has recruited an all-star design team to compose the company's first luxury hotel, located in Port Douglas in far north Queensland. Architects Powell and Glenn will spearhead the sustainability-focused design, working in close collaboration with Wolverage Architects. Landscape architect Miles Baldwin is on board to cultivate the property's lavish tropical gardens, while interior designer Amy Gurner will direct the project's sumptuous interiors. ARIA Property Group submitted plans to construct a Koichi Takata-designed building at South Bank in Brisbane. Landscape architecture firm LAT27 is also involved with imagining the residential tower, which features more than 1,000 trees and 20,000 plants across its 30 levels. Fittingly called the Urban Forest, artists' impressions of the proposed building illustrate a painterly planting scheme across its undulating elevations, with a broad variety of tree and shrub species planned to bloom and change colour at staggered times throughout each year. The Eden development in Singapore is the latest completed project in a lineup of world-class residential towers to adopt a skyward green scheme. The building flourishes with masses of tropical foliage cascading down its 22-storey exterior. The first of the building's 20 luxury apartments is elevated high above a densely planted ground-level tropical garden and lobby. Above this, 19 more apartments are stacked, each occupying an entire level of the building. From new innovations to reimagining classic designs, 2020 has witnessed product launches with a particular focus on game-changing technology. First propelled to rockstar status during the peak of mid-century home design, the Breeze Block made yet another debut in 2020, thanks to the nostalgia-led restylings of Australian designer Adam Goodrum in collaboration with Austral Bricks. Called Kite Breeze, the blocks are given their distinctive appearance by a triangle-shaped panel that sits flush with one corner face of the block's frame. Danish furniture house Fredericia revealed a special edition of one of Denmark's most celebrated design duos, the Spanish chair and its dining chair counterpart. The limited release sees the timeless pieces reimagined in deep red saddle leather, a warming hue that echoes an earthiness which Danish-born designer Borg Mogensen sought to instill in all of his unpretentious designs. Lightweight, affordable and stackable, the Bell Chair by Magis is a new iteration of the popular monoblock chair. The chair is designed to be stronger than ever before and is produced using industrial waste from Magis' own factories and from the local car manufacturing industry. In a year when going digital has been a major focus, the all-new Architect Speaker Series in detail by Brickworks made its way to screens around the globe. The first three episodes in the series, featuring architects Alex Arms, Fabrizio Barozzi, and Jason Blight, are all available now for catch-up viewing. 
You can find out how to watch in detail, plus read about all of this year's most popular stories and more, online now at dailyarchitecturenews.com.